get out. This is the exit. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Really? How's that? Oh god. There was dirt on the ground, it looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Odd, there was similar dirt on my own shoes. Interesting. This is kind of messed up. Let's go through the door. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? I don't know. Wow, this is the exit? What's that? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes, I took the knife. I slipped the knife in my boots since I had the gun in my pocket. <laughs> Did I really need all this? You never know, buddy. You never know. Alright, let's go through this door. I'm not going out the exit just yet. That's so obviously mislabeled. Oh, fuck. Hello. Door number one, door number two. Let's keep going this way. God. What's that? I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah, what the hell. The valve was still active. Did I turn it again? Yeah. There you go. Ha ha ha. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it? Yes. Did I turn it again? Yes. Did I turn it again? <laughs> Whatever these valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Everything stopped. Yeah! I did it! I don't know what I did, but I did it! No more creepy sounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it's not pumping water anymore. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Alright, so we got two doors, a ladder, and an exit door. So let's try this one first. Oh my god, we got more of these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, done. And what's this? I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Through the dust, I could see handprints from previous use, probably from whoever worked in those sewers. Interesting. Since it's that door, let's try this door. Door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. <laughs> you notice I'm hitting everything twice because it gives you a little bit more information the second time. All right, uh, before I go hit the exit, I'm gonna go up the ladder. See what's up here. Dee -dee 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 -dee. What's that? Disgusting! It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yes, sir. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. I didn't want to keep digging through this mess. Why not? I wanted to, jackass. Okay, well, all we have left is the exit door, right? I think. Nice. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. There was a ladder I could reach. Huh, interesting. So we did do what we were supposed to do. Yes! Dude, what's that? Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. The smell didn't improve much, and the room was damp. Well, yeah, because it was, like, water in there previously, but... <laughs> the safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The faded paper was yellow and dusty, but there it had obviously been wiped off recently. 
But there, what? The faded paper was yellow and dusty, but there it had white, you know, whatever. Okay, so we got a ladder and a doorway. Let's do the doorway first. The door was locked! I could see a faint light within. Well, that sucks. What kind of convoluted freaking place is this? There's another door. And another door. I can smell a hint of fresh air here. Was I close to the exit? I was anxious to leave, but worried that I had missed something. What was on the videotape I carried? I don't know. Alright, so there's a ladder. Uh, what do we got? We got this one ladder here? That's the ladder we came up. Oh, man. Alright, let's try, try this door. Did we do this door already? No. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yeah, man. I thought about the knife I'd found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. I was feeling even more sick from seeing another dead man. I didn't want to get any more blood on my clothes. Hmm. What the hell is going on here? I would like to know. Alright, let's hit the ladder. My sore leg and the extra weight I was carrying made climbing the ladder difficult. Would I really need that gun or that knife before the end? I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found, or in that locked room. Should I have gone back to check? My head was buzzing with questions and tired thoughts as I ascended the ladder. Suddenly, as I lifted the heavy lid above me, the awful smell of that sewer gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. Yes! Nice! We're out. We made it! Oh my god, it's the Slenderman. Alright, what's up? There's a ladder. Come on, let's get the hell out of here! There's another door. Or gate, should I say. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Uh oh. It's the Slenderman! No, it's not. I have no idea where I am now. I'm just like wandering around. Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated, dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find my way around. Now we're just wandering around, who knows where. Maybe I found my way around. No? What the hell is that? Somebody else out here. What's that? There were some personal effects shoved back into the into to the rock. Damn it! Who proofread this shit? Shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose. Oh, I wonder if that was from those notes that were scribbled before. Rachel? Rachel? Her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Well, that can't be good. Damn. What's... Oh, my God. Uh... Did you hear that? A few embers still burn within the fire pit. Who was camping here? Was it... Was it who? Who else was out there in those woods? One of the two folding camping chairs was knocked over, and there was beer spilled everywhere. Where'd the campers run off to in such a hurry? 
The quiet of the forest was suffocating. I couldn't help but feel like I was being watched. I think we're being watched, too. There's a tent. There was a cheap two-person dome tent. Through the screen on the front, I could see two sleeping bags, backpacks, and a small cooler. Yeah, well, take... Get it, man! As I peered into the tent and around the campsite, I kept thinking about the names in that book. Well, apparently he's not going to get it. I need to check the cooler, buddy. Uh, okay, I think I'm, like, completely lost. Maybe not. No, 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 no! Don't. I can't even read that. <laughs> it's so pixelated. Let's go inside here. Ooh, this looks like the bathroom. The, the grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. There wasn't much in the way of clean water there, but the sink did work. A musty wooden plank propped up the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Of course he did. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. Hey man, these advent text adventure games, you take everything. Take everything. Alright, so we obviously gotta go back. Uh, this one. Oh, uh, there's a sign. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Nice. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. And where were the campers who had abandoned their sight? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? It's another gate. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Hmm. Alright, hole in the fence. Oh, we'll go through here. Oh, shit. You know what? Let's go try the hole in the fence first. There. Nothing that way. Oh god, who's this guy? His head had been severely beaten and his face was covered with blood. He looked like his head had been viciously beaten in with something. I couldn't stand to look. Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. It was mine! I bought it on a trip out west with Rachel! Did I take back my watch? Yes, I did. Even though it didn't run anymore, I clasped the watch around my wrist. Hmm. You know what? I have a feeling we're going to get freaking framed for all this. The knife, the gun, the plank. I don't know. So there's some stairs. Lockers. Oh. One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around, like someone had been looking for something. The door was locked shut. A sign was pasted to the front that said, Danger! Closed for repairs! I didn't think it could be opened. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Hmm. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. Interesting. Alright, so let's go up the stairs and see if we can find a way to power the box. Every part of this plant smelled and looked old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. Some more stairs. Our old break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Why? Looked like some beer bottles had been used on the table recently. I wondered, was that guard? 
Was that guard was using this as a break room of his own? 